or, you know, if you need anything fruit bread. Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if you weren't. I hope you were smarter than this. Lighter or heavier with all those holes in him. Well, the bullets probably add a few ounces. Good night, sweet prince. Here's to all the old days. It's gonna be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them their daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Too. Sure, take a peek. Look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. 
Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Follow me. Traveling in the Commonwealth as long as I have, you learn a few things. These old buildings and alleyways give you a lot of opportunities to hide if things get bad, but that goes both ways. Always keep your eyes out and your head on a swivel. Things can go from calm to deadly in a heartbeat. Diamond City is as close to safe as you can get in these parts. Security keeps the perimeter under control, but it's always a struggle. Despite the mayor's bragging, it really is the most secure settlement around even if it comes with a few uptight guards. Hey! Ammo, weapons, and messy death. I got it all. So you got one of those fancy Volt suits. Those one-size-fits-all.
Head on inside. Nah. Hey, mister, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground. Sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... 
They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. 
Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Every conceivable good you could ever need is right. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's see what you have. The highest quality available.
Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? I won't be able to pick this. Nick. Nick. Stubborn lock, ain't it? No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Heard you rescued Valentine. Good work. Olsen scared the hell out of me. But Nikki, he ain't like those Institute psychos. 